Hiya, Sam! Good news, Max. I think I just gave birth to a bouncing baby hernia. Hiya! Ugh. <gasps> I got it! I got it! Ow! Hello. Yes, Commissioner? Holy cap wearing catfish flopping a crime beat! We're on our way! Did he get the notes I sent him? Yes, but he said to stop carving them into the suspects. He can't read them without his bifocals. What if I just write bigger? Forget that, Max. We're after the most infamous organized crime outfit in the city, the Toy Mafia. The cutthroat killers with no respect for human life but an odd predilection for delightful children's toys? The same. I love those guys! The Commissioner has reason to believe that the Toy Mafia's secret headquarters are located in the one place no one would ever suspect. Teddy Bear's Mafia-Free Playland and Casino. The sallowest place on Earth? Oh boy! Well, it's not going to be all laughs and dyspepsia, little chum. It's a rescue op. The Commissioner sent an undercover mole to investigate, but he hasn't reported in weeks. Our job is to make contact with the mole and see if he needs help. Is he a large, star-shaped mole, or more of a beauty mark? No idea, Max. To find him, we're supposed to give the code phrase, Does the carpet match the drapes? And what'll he say? He'll say, Well, I never. Then smack me across the face. Sounds great! Let's do this! Hubert's still clinging to life by the skin of his leaf. The donut box is a happy reminder of a bygone era, specifically last July. Hi Sam, this is yourself. Don't forget to listen to the answering machine messages. And give Max a smack from me. Hi Sam, this is yourself again. Don't forget to erase the answering machine messages before you listen to them. And give Max his own battle tank from me. Good old Mr. Spatula. The exact same Mr. Spatula we've always had. Certainly not just some other fish we've been calling Mr. Spatula ever since we found the original floating belly up in this very water cooler just last week. Careful, Sam. Keep it up and he might realize he's just a replacement fish. Look, Max. Midtown Cowboys reruns. Better get the serious toothpaste. Turn it off! I hate the sound of my voice on tape. It doesn't sound like me. Jimmy Two Teeth, Fence. It's a sad day when hardworking rodents have to make their living as a freestanding form of enclosure. Uh, I think that's fence in the buys and sells stolen goods sense of the word. Beat it! You're getting in way of my customers! What customers? This charred pile of scrap serves as a touching reminder of the fun we had at WARP-TV. I've determined that whether for food or for sport, I just really enjoy frying things. Hey, an ace! An extra card up your sleeve never hurts. Except when the other guy catches you with it and decides to riddle every inch of your body with high-caliber bullets and then dump your mutilated corpse in an empty field. Yeah, except then.
Hello, Sam. Hello, Max. Hey, it's our favorite short attention span careerist. This time, I've found the job for me. I've become a professional trial witness. What exactly is a professional trial witness? Oh, it's great! We give dramatic testimonies, sequester in ritzy hotels, and order room service in the name of truth and justice. It almost sounds like you're enriching yourself at the expense of this country's overcomplicated legal system. Do you have a problem with that, Mr. Freelance Police? Yeah, why didn't we think of it? What led you to decide to become a professional witness? Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times taught me a lot about the truth, you know? The truth is far out there? Exactly. And then one day I got called for jury duty, and the rest is history. What's your next career gonna be? Oh, there is no next career. I'm sticking with trial witnessing for good. No, seriously. Any ideas about your next cockamamie profession? I resent that. Do you have your first case yet? No, but I'm waiting for a call from the district attorney. He says he's got something I'd be perfect for. You don't feel uncomfortable getting a case first and then being a witness for it? Not at all. You see, the problem with most trials is that crimes are witnessed by someone who's unprepared for what's going to happen, or who doesn't have sufficient training or skills to accurately remember or relate what happened. With my background and widely varied skill set, I'm perfect. That makes sense. Should I be afraid? Probably. Does the carpet match the drapes? Interior decorating was like eight months ago. I'm a trial witness now. Isn't trial witnessing a trifle dangerous? Oh no, we're protected by the truth. We'll be back, Sybil. Bye, boys. Keep one eye on the truth. Ah, taxidermy. The dead are truly the kitsch of the living. And vice versa. You're an unfathomable well of something, Max. The Alien Love Rectangle Post. I had no idea there was such fierce competition among Alien Love Polygon tabloids. Myra Stump shocks crowd with new hairstyle. Wow, talk about a slow day for news. I don't talk about the news, Sam. I make it! Hmm, are those? Yep, they've resorted to filling the candy machine with antidepressants. How depressing. Hey, Bosco. Nice flapjack! Son of God, I'm blue. Who is this, Bosco? Hey, guys, it's me, Bosco. No! But you may call me Jean-Francois Bandapart, the new way French anarchist. So, Bosco, why'd you get Frenchified? They saw right through my British disguise. I don't know how they did it, but they found me. Who? The Mafia. The Toy Mafia. They've got it in for me. Take a number, guys. What manner of nightmarish atrocities has the Toy Mafia committed against you? Nothing, yet. Ah, but I know what they are planning. And it is terrible! Are they planning to tie you down, tape your eyelids open, and turn on the 24-hour Midtown Cowboys channel? Well, not that bad. I have reason to believe they are planning to deliver something to my store. Another delivery conspiracy? What could a band of ruthless toy mongers possibly want to put in here? I don't know. Uh, but it is no matter. They will never be able to deliver anything to my store. Or well, my name is not Jean-Francois Bandepart. But your name's not Jean-Francois Sissy Pants. Shh! They don't know that. What's keeping the toy mafia from making a delivery? Well, for one, I am watching always. They will never sneak past me. Yeah, just like Wizard couldn't sneak past you. And two, even if they do get past me, I got a failsafe. It's the greatest invention the world has seen since b -tans. I call it the Bosco Tech Anti-Delivery System. What's the acronym for that? Uh, also b -tans. It is a b part deal. 
How does BTAD's part do work? First is the anti-delivery camera. It keeps a massive photo recognition database of every inconvenient item I stole. How completely impractical! If anything is placed in the stores that the anti-delivery camera does not recognize, it is put out on the streets. Vive la France! Does the carpet match the drapes? No. And you know why? Because the man does not want them to. He is threatened by their potential unification. Mm-hmm. We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. Do you have any stray tufts of Sasquatch hair? No. Do you have any hats in the shape of a cow udder? No. Do you have any rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle? No. Do you have any amulets of protection against greater hypnosis? No. Do you have any... No. How do you know what he was gonna... No. Do you? No. Do... No. Do you? No. Do you? No. Do you have any... No. What do you got? Oh la la! Behind the counter, I have the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. A device non pareto chocolate. Is that good? Oui, oui. This I call a miniature listening device. It can fit in any cravat, under any chapeau. What's it do? It listens. You can use it to hear secret conversations, no? No. I mean, yes. Okay, senor sissy pants. We'll take that miniature listening device. As the price is 10 million dollar. 10 million? Wait, is that 10 million in crazy fake French dollars or 10 million in regular dollars? Regular dollar. The market is bearish on crazy fake French dollar. Nothing for us right now. Zut! Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? Fools, there is no one. <laughs> Sorry, Bosco. Just yanking your chain, amigo. Sacre bleu! I could do this all day. And I intend to! See you later, Bosco. I know not this Bosco of whom you speak. But if I see him, I shall bid him a reservoir. Foamy bread. Made from real styrofoam? No, artificial styrofoam. Sludgies. This week's flavors? Avocado de menthe and fudge pâté de foie gras. Oh good. For a second I thought it was something disgusting. Ooh, fun! Where we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Generous friends, days and weeks and tokens to spend. We're just regular businessmen, just you and me and Teddy Bear. Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Ah! That face. My name's Lovey Bear. Boy, do we have some fun and games for you. Here, take this token amount of tokens as our way of saying welcome and go spend a lot of money. Holy domesticated ursins, Max. 
Lovey Bear here's got the same head as that hypnotic teddy bear from Myra's talk show. You think that little talk show bear had a litter of giant babies? I don't know, Max. Call it canine intuition, but I think our mole discovered something about these teddy bears he shouldn't have. We've got to find him and get to the bottom of this. You're lucky this mask doesn't have ear holes, or I might have heard that secret conversation you just had right in front of me. What? Sorry, I wasn't listening. You give tokens to first-time customers? That's right. Go on, enjoy. Live a little. It just seems like bad business sense. Okay, tell you what. Thirteen hours from now, when you're trying to pawn your little friend here to pay off the VIG, we can talk then about bad business sense. Okay, we'll come back then. I hear you have a mole problem? Hey, it's a genetic condition. You should have seen my father's back. Holy cow, I'm actually being too subtle. First time that's ever happened. Maybe I should just stick to the code phrase. Does the carpet match the drapes? If Don Ted E. Bear says so, they do. Don Teddy Bear? I thought this place was mafia-free. That's right, kiddies. 100% mafia-free. No mafia anywheres. Come on, True. We're looking for somebody who works here. Look, I just greet the guests. You want to know who works here? Talk to Don Ted E. Bear. He's in charge. Where's the Don? He's got, uh, business in the back room. You know what I mean? What kind of business? Yeah. The kind of business that gets said like it's got quote marks around it, so's you know not to ask. Thanks, Levy Bear. Enjoy, and remember, if you're not losing, we're not winning. No goons, no trompers, no drippers, no thugs. No dips, no clippers, no chippies, no lugs. No button men packing gaps loaded with slugs. It's you and me and Teddy Bear. No mafia here. Let mafia please. We're mafia for real. No mafia bugs. Just doing business legitimately. N-O-M-A-F-I-A-O, baby. Welcome, welcome, generous friend. Days and weeks and tokens to spend. We're just regular businessmen, just you and me and Teddy Bear. Look, Max, it's a beloved carnival game with a delightful mobster twist. What better way to relax than by offing fake rodents in the most violent way imaginable? Note, please supply your own firearm. We always do. Insert token to play. Let's give this a shot. <laughs> I'm in pain. These rats are gonna pop up, see? If the rat's keeping his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat's singing, you put a bullet in his head, capiche? Now have fun. How can we not? My high school guidance counselor was right. I should have become a mafia hitman. Look, there's the prize! As advertised, it's an almost entirely worthless teddy bear refrigerator magnet. Hey, let's find someone with a metal plate in their skull and redecorate their forehead! Oh, Max, you really know how to find the bright side of everything, don't you? Yes, I do. Now let's go shoot something. Let's play again. Shooting, kid. 
Looks like they're all out of prices. It's still fun, though! Teddy Bear's Original Meatball Sandwich. Looks tasty! The original Teddy Bear made this original meatball sandwich with his own two paws in 1957. The microorganisms that give Teddy's modern meatballs their distinctive tang are descended from the colony in this sandwich. Buffet closed for a semi-annual food change. Sorry, Max. Ah. Well, what do we have here? I'd say the circus was in town, but I know for a fact they won't be here till next Friday, so you must be here to play cards. Depends. Who are we playing? The name's Steak Charmer. Leonard Steak Charmer. And let's just say I didn't rack up 10 million tokens by getting lucky. <laughs> How'd you get him then? By cheating? Look, Rabbit, Leonard Steak Charmer's no cheat. He's just that good. Okay, what's the game, Steak Charmer? Truest test of skill there is. Indian poker. Leonard Steak Charmer, huh? You don't look like a Leonard Steak Charmer. Oh, yeah? What do I look like? You look more like a uh, Boris Crinkle. That's what everyone says. So are you a real Indian? Yeah, I'm a wooden Indian. As in wouldn't bet against me if I was you. I'll kill him! Not yet. How do you get anyone to gamble with you? Frankly, you seem shady. I offer great odds, and I possess a certain subtle charm. I hate to break it to you, but non-existent and subtle are two different things. Maybe charm is a euphemism for gum disease. Look, I'm here to play poker. Are we gonna get this dog and bunny show on the road or what? Leonard, you give new meaning to the phrase, a face only a mother could love. My mama said I was beautiful. Uh... Does the carpet match the drapes? No, it's stained with tobacco juice. Squalid, yet candid. Normally, I like that in a gambler. But for you, we'll make an exception. How exactly does one play poker of the Indian persuasion? You know you're off to a good start when your opponent doesn't even know how to play. You ever consider that we might be card sharks? Or shark sharks? You know, the kind that eat people for being overconfident? Whatever. Look, it's simple. We both get dealt a card which we put on our forehead without looking at it. So we can see each other's card, but not our own. Pretty sharp, McGruff. Don't call me that. And you make a bet if you think he got the higher card, or fold if you want out. That's it? Yep. Then we see who's got the highest card, and then I win, like always. Well, when you put it like that, we'd be fools not to play. We'd like to try our hand at a hand of Indian poker. You won't regret this, Hound. By which I mean, I won't regret this. Oh, and try any funny stuff with your partner and I'll shoot you both. That seems fair. I got 10 million tokens says I got a better card than you. I'm betting it all. Sweet second mortgages on a summer home. We can't match that. Tell you what, Pooch. I'm feeling so confident. I'll give you 10 million to one odds. Just bet one token and you could win the whole pot. Those are mighty good odds. No, they ain't, deputy dog. Because I never lose. <laughs> so, in or out? Sure, we'll bet a token. <laughs> Sorry, Rover. You lose. Steak Chama wins. Mama was wrong. Gambling does pay. I'd say better luck next time, but it'll take more than luck to beat me. Yeah, it'd take a sturdy oaken staff to really do the job. That's enough for now. Okay, although I could have sworn you were a dog, not a chicken. A common mistake. <laughs> You don't have the guts. On the contrary. If anything, we have too many. Holyoke, Massachusetts. Try that again, Mug, and we'll fill you with so many holes your little friend will be able to store his straw collection. Could you make them small enough to drain pasta? Because I think I just lost the colander. I'm just gonna put this gun away and make it a point to never do that again. How's that sound?
That is one shiny nose. Almost as shiny as yours! Keep it up and you'll get a shiner too. Wow, it sticks! Back for a little more public humiliation? Just a little more. Deal. All right. I'm betting all ten million, and you only got to bet one. So, you in or out? Sure, we'll bet a token. Eh, sorry, Fido. You lose. The dog wins. What? I... You... You cheated me! What are you talking about, Leonard? How did we cheat? You... Pay up, Steak Charmer. Mama, why weren't you watching over me? I'm ruined. <laughs> let's go, Max. Leonard and his dead mother need some alone time right now. Yeah, let's go see if we can play Whack the Rats ten million times in a row without passing out. A one-armed bandit. Insert token to play. You see that, Sam? It's a little play on the well-known colloquialism for slot machine. The fun just never stops at Teddy Bear's. You're on fire! Sweet mother of bleary-eyed gambling addiction, we won! Yeah, we won, but there's no prize! You gotta hand it to Teddy Bear. He really puts the bandit in one-armed bandit. Hold it! What's the password? You may enter. It's a rubber ducky ashtray. Leave it to the toy mafia to make smoking fun. Hold it, Mugs! Not Mugs, Max! I don't care if it's Teddy Ruxpin. No one gets in without a password. Oh, right. That would be... what again? Why don't you tell me? Does the carpet match the drapes? I don't know. I set fire to the drapes. I love to watch things burn. Hey, me too! I'm sorry I asked. The password is... Swordfish. Nope. The password is... Rosebud. Nope. The password is... Password. Nope. Bring me the head of Alfredo Garcia? Nope. I've come to Grandma's funeral? Nope. Who's on first? Nope. Who's your daddy? Nope. I am the walrus? Nope. You remind me of this shopkeeper I know. Nope. I give up. Will you let me in, please? Nope. We'll be back. Like I care. We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. Okay, stinky pants. Here's your ten million. By the secret stench of St. Gainsbourg. These are not American dollar. No, but there are ten million of them. Hmm. Well, the prizes at Ted E. Bears can be quite useful. I accept. And in return, I give you the miniature listening device. This is a bug. Precisement. Does this thing really work? Does this thing really work? That answer your question? Now listen up, maggots. I am a bug. Drop me in enemy territory and I will get all the information you need. You just make sure to pick me up again and I will repeat every word. Every word! We'll be putting you in some situations that could be a mite precarious. 
Think you can handle it? I was a numb boy. You don't want to know what I've been through. They slaughtered ladybugs. Ladybugs! And that's not all. I've seen them kill. Larvae. Larvae! Huh? So yeah, I think I can handle it. Now I need some shut-eye before the mission. Put me in your pocket. In your pocket! Move, maggot! Sir, yes sir! Where are we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Step right up, kitties. We got fun and games. Whee! A one-armed bandit. Insert token to play. Still no prize. We're wasting our money, Sam. Hold it. What's the password? You may enter. Did you get it all? Yeah, I got it. Now listen up. Here's what they said. Hold it. What's the password? That's gotta be, what, a hundred times I've come through that door today, and you still don't recognize me? It's the bear heads, boss. They all look alike. <sighs> Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. Now get me in that pocket. Move! Sir, yes sir. Give me the password. Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. <laughs> 